Hi students, welcome to the next topic from magnetic effect of current. So let's continue. Last class we have discussed about the magnetic fields created by a circular current carrying conductor at the center region mu zero i divided by 2r. R will be the radius. Today we are going to discuss something differently but finally it with it has some connections with what we have learned in the last class so the topic is magnetic field due to a circular current carrying conductor along the axis so what's the difference between the previous class and today's class in the previous class we have learned about magnetic field due to a circular current carrying conductor at the center circle the center in short but here here what is the difference here we are calculating the magnetic field due to a circular current carrying conductor along the axial position suppose you can assume like you have a ring will be here and a ring in the axis means here at some point will be here so this is a ring and the axial position means here you are going to calculate the magnetic field intensity of course the ring has to carry some current because current can only produce magnetic field a static charge can produce magnetic field no charge has to flow or charge has to move so the moving charges will produce current current will produce magnetism so electricity and magnetism are connected it's like members of a family in short so hope you got my point so whatever here we are going to calculate means we have a current carrying coil okay for all the ladies you can consider like your bangles it's a ring so which carrying certain current and we are going to find out magnetic field on the axis of the current carrying conductor this is what we are going to see today okay for this <clears throat> we need to have some understanding okay so just let me take one um, item in which i have here okay i think this is a just a, a structures you can see okay so this is a black surface you can see okay this is just like a cylindrical cup i have okay just to show you what we are going to do <clears throat> okay now you have to assume in a three dimensional way this is quite important you can see the black surface will be here right this is a circular nature okay now you can consider this is a ring okay just like as like uh, as like just uh, two minutes before i told you uh, uh, ladies will have a bangles so you can consider like this is your bangles so this black is a ring and the current is flowing through the link like this okay so you, you can see like this one okay now you can see this a ring which is carrying the current like this one now if i'm keeping like this one what you can see the black portion earlier which is facing you it's now facing me it's now facing me so the black is like this so you can see this border line only border black lines only you can see now this kind of this black line you can forget about this white piece you don't want to bother about it so this is the only area in which i need to find out the magnetic field due to this ring this black area only in our imagination so this black area ring alone i'm going to draw here okay so this black ring so black ring of course i know the structure is like this but how i can draw it in a in a in a in a two dimensional pen it's difficult so i'll draw like this okay i'll draw like this so this means it's not like this this is like this this is like this okay so what this is going to do this is carrying some current so now i zooming this is carrying some current so a current is flowing like this a current is flowing like this Trrr, current is flowing like this one now what we are going to do once the current is flowing through the circuit we are going to find out the magnetic field you can see this blue color at here at some point will be here 
this pen nib you can see so at this point we are going to find out the magnetic field due to this black ring and the black ring carrying some current like this okay so the black ring is carrying the current like this so there is an axial position along the center suppose i'm assuming its radius equal to capital r and at a distance of x meter away here i am going to find out the magnetic field at the point p <coughs> okay so now your thought is required to me okay i uh, need to get your thought for this one now uh, now you have to listen very carefully the current is going listen very carefully the current is going like this from here to here towards the board the current is flowing so towards the board the current is flowing in the direction okay you forget about this diagram you have to only look into here these things i am just uh, depicting will be here because it's a two dimensional picture this is a three dimensional view three dimension is easy to understand so the current is going in this direction <coughs> okay if the current is going in this direction sir so you can see the the this bottom current is coming will be here and the current is going in this directions so maybe you can mark it like this also so i will just depict this one okay i'll mark the current so you you don't want to confuse see the current is going towards the board side towards the board okay so your point is somewhere here and this is the central axis your central axis will be here and at this point so what we have to do now i'll keep it will be here now you have to assume like you have a perfect ring like this one you have a perfect ring and you are going to calculate the magnetic field at this point okay so let me take one more item i have here so that it will be just clear to you okay so i will show you that just i want to take something so that i want to make the diagrams to be bit clear to you okay <clears throat> i just take it from there in the desk so this is in short okay the this is a yellow color plates now so that black color is replaced you can assume like a yellow plates this is like just a cap i have taken now this is like this to me so now you assume the current is going like this one this is a center point so at this point i'm going to calculate the magnetic field so now if i draw one line like this one from here i am drawing one line like this one so this line this line towards the center this is a center line the center line is called x so the line which is bending towards the center is called a small letter r okay now i am assuming the current is going in the direction towards the board towards the board so i am going to find out the magnetic field in that point so what we will use we will use our right hand thumb rule or also we can call it as right hand palm rule so in the right hand palm rule the thumb is pointing the direction of current so you assume our point is will be here so this is your thumb so thumb is pointing in the direction of current so you are holding in the direction and your other four curling fingers representing the direction of magnetic field so this is your point and you are just curling it and keeping it down and you keeping it down if you keep it down at this point your fingers are going down 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 your fingers are going down okay so this is what vector you can assume the current is going in this direction towards the board so here we have something called this line it's called ideal line ideal line okay and this is a vector called r okay so we know the biot savart's law equations db is equal to mu0 divided by 4 pi into i into dl cross r divided by r cube into sin theta vector form of biot savart's law so in this case you we have a, uh, i told dl cross r dl and r if perpendicular to each other so this is called dl right this is called dl this piece of line this is like a 2d i can draw only like this one so this is like current current is going in this direction towards the board towards the board so this is my ideal so this is my vector called r r is like this and ideal see you see this r line and this r, small letter r are perpendicular so which means these lines 
with respect to this one makes 90 degree so this is a line okay so this line is an ideal vector and this ideal vector makes a 90 degree with the sky this is 90 degree so this is like an ideal vector and you are drawing one line so this line will make 90 degree and <coughs> db db is the the specialty like dl and r are perpendicular okay now just for your example i'm selling so i'm assuming dl is in x direction dl is in x direction r is in y direction r is in y direction so dl is in x direction means i is also in the x direction now now just let me plot x and y <coughs> dl cross r i told right hand rule so dl cross r so dl is on x direction the a cross b last class i told it to you a cross b is equal to c so first vector if a is in the direction then a cross b what is coming in the next cross b the cross b direction you have to fold you see dl dl is something like something is the direction of i so dl cross r which means x cross y see x cross y so what is your thumb thumb is pointing towards you so right hand palm rule is a rule which you are used to find out the resultant of two vectors so this is x direction so dl means x cross r dl cross r means x cross r x cross r r means you have to fold in this direction thumb is coming out thumb is coming out means which direction positive z direction so dl cross r means this is x direction and y direction this is what direction positive z direction is it positive z direction so what we can say dl r db all the three vectors are perpendicular so i can say db perpendicular to dl and that is per, so all are all are mutually perpendicular perpendicular to r in this case in this general principle a is perpendicular to b and b is perpendicular to c this is a very fundamental principle and the same stuff only we are applying will be here so db is perpendicular to dl and perpendicular to r line so we know current is going like this one so i am placing my thumb like this uh, in this direction so at that point my thumb is coming down and which is perpendicular to what is the condition it's perpendicular to r r is like this means perpendicular so with the r it makes how much degree 90 degree and this is called db hope now this is clear so the current is going like this one so the current direction is like this current is going so here also you have to take a dl and here also you have the same distance will be there and which is called r and perpendicular to this one in the bottom side see current is coming here and the bottom side current is towards you so if you keep the current is towards you if i hold my fingers then my other four four curling fingers are going up up means in this direction and this is also called db <coughs> this is also called db okay now we got a 2 db now dl will be there and db will be there and this db can be this is like a two dimensional component this is not in the x direction this is not in the y directions so let me uh, re redraw this part alone we have two lines are coming and at this point sir, we have one db like this we have another db like this so this is called r distance this is called with this r this makes 90 degree with this r this makes 90 degree hope this is this diagram is very clear to you okay so this r with the db 90 degree db dl all are perpendicular to each other okay now we have to see something now if you see let me take another color so that to makes to be a little more clear now if this angle is called theta if this angle is called theta then this angle is also theta symmetrical structures okay but i know from here to here it is called totally how much 90 this r to this db 90 so what is the small angle will be here come 90 minus theta 
the small angle will be here 90 minus theta now i'm drawing one additional blue line like this additional this is for okay if this is 90 minus theta and this angle is the the total and and this angle is theta and this is 90 minus 90 minus how much will come not 90 minus theta it is 90 minus 2 theta see total from here to here this big blue line is total 90 and here theta and here theta means what is balance 90 minus 2 theta and we know these two lines are perpendicular these two lines are perpendicular here 90 minus 2 theta plus theta how much will come 90 minus theta so what is this angle should come this angle become theta now if you take these two angle what you will get theta plus 90 minus 2 theta plus theta if you add these two line you will get 90 minus 2 theta plus this theta plus this theta overall how much you are getting 90 so this angle is called what theta this so this angle i have assumed it as theta with respect to the horizontal then this angle will also comes as theta in your notebook use different colors and try to draw this diagram okay so all this stuff's clear i need some space over here <coughs> that will continue from there okay so this part is clear to you and uh, we have to continue from here okay now this is theta okay so i will draw this diagram uh, uh, in a specific way so this is called a db so this is our db this is also our db okay so this angle now i got it if this is theta I mean this is also theta so a, a db line like this and this angle is called a theta another db line like this and this angle is also we got it as theta bottom also theta upside also theta db is a two dimensional component which can be splitted into this db can be splitted into two components what are the thing db cos theta theta ka pakkathil irukana side the side very close to theta the very the side close to theta is called db cos theta so idana center region so the another line is will come like this in between these two okay so this is the resultant one so this is one component and what is other component db sin theta so this is over now you can forget about this now we'll go here so this can be also what we can return as db cos theta what this will come again one more db sin theta once you have written you can forget about this now you see you see db is a magnetic field created by the small current element here so here also we have small current element so this db cos theta is a vector quantity one vector in the top side one vector in the bottom side both vectors will cancel each other so the magnetic field is equal to zero but here what will happen two vectors are pointing in this direction okay so total magnetic field has to add it up so i'm in short i'm drawing one line if the current is going like this one in this fashion towards the board another towards the board then the magnetic field at this point the resultant magnetic field b is in this direction so what is the value of b b is i have to say total magnetic field means i have to add here on db sin theta here on db sin theta how should i get total b total b is equal to integral db of sin theta we have to integrate what is db mu 0 by 4 pi ITL sin theta ITL okay mu 0 by ideal sin theta what is sin theta in this case angle between dl and r is 90 degree so that sine sine theta divided by from here to here the distance is r square into what is this sin theta see if this angle is theta see the, this double line this double line angle is theta what is sine theta opposite side by hypotenuse what is opposite side r what is hypotenuse small letter r so capital r divided by small letter r okay so what we have to do we have to integrate so what are the things will be constant in this diagram mu zero divided by four pi into i capital r i capital r divided by r cube into integral dl into integral dl so mu zero by four pi i capital r by small r cube into integral dl 
so I need some space I'm using this area for this purpose okay so what is integral DL for a circle integral DL DL is a length or a wire okay wire and the length 10 meter if you make it as a circle then the length of the wire is equal to 2 pi r so integral DL will be equal to 2 pi into its radius 2 pi r we'll substitute that so the total magnetic field B is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi into I capital R small r cube into integral DLR means 2 pi r okay so what this will come mu 0 pi pi cancel 2 2 cancel mu 0 by 2 into i r square i r square divided by r cube small letter r means what small letter r will be equal to root of r square plus x square so it is r cube so this can be written as r square plus x square whole power 1 by 2 1 by 2 r r alone now it is cube cube means what will come r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 this is the formula of magnetic field intensity due to a circular current carrying conductor circular current carrying conductor at the axis of the circular current carrying conductor mu 0 i r square whole divided by 2 into r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 r is the radius of the circle and x is the distance from the center okay this is bit difficult to understand the real concept for that as i told before once you are learning you have to take your bangles or any any ring any circular shaped structure says like what i have will be here something like this one okay or a dip and a normal cap nothing else so you can take it something else so that you have to imagine current is going like this so this is called ideal and this is called a small letter r and this is called a capital x and this will have a radius called a capital r then you have to fold your fingers okay so db is coming down and db is perpendicular to r so like this and then i marked these two angles i have assumed it as theta and from there i have to derive another angle then i will do the integrations mu 0 i r square divided by 2 into r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 is the fundamental expression for this okay hope this area is clear to you okay so i need to do something extra okay now let me keep this diagram and this final equations will be here since i want to do little bit of extra stuffs okay okay now you know x is the distance from the center x is the distance from the center so if i am going to find out magnetic field at the center of the coil so, so let me we, we already find this one right magnetic field at the center of the coil at the center of the coil which means x equal to zero there is no x distance x is actually the distance from here to here is called x so this point is x meter away p is but the point o is at x is equal to zero so this x is not there x is zero in that case if i have substituted x will be equal to zero what should be our magnetic field will come mu zero i into r square whole divided by 2 into r square plus x is 0 so 0 raised to 3 by 2 <coughs> so what this will come mu 0 i into r square divided by 2 r square 3 by 2 so it become 2 times of r cube will come again 1 uh, r square and r cube will get cancel it outside so we got b equal to mu 0 times of mu 0 times of i divided by 2 r this is what we have find out the magnetic field due to a circular current carrying conductor at the center of the circle last class we have seen <coughs> last class we have seen so the magnetic field due to a circular current carrying conductor at the center of the circle at the center of the circle mu 0 i by 2 r we have learned right there you we may have written small letter r because their small letter r is the radius of the circle here we have assumed a capital r is the radius of the circle because of that capital r is the radius of the circle we got mu 0 i divided by 2 times of capital r is the expressions we got it will be here mu 0 i divided by 2 r this is one of the basic fundamental principles we have learned 
okay next we are going to learn about uh, something related to some graphical representation so this is i just derived the expressions what we have learned in the last sessions and we are derived the same concept will be here also this is what we done basically so i just clean the board <coughs> here we'll see some graphical representation this is quite important this will really say like your concept is very clear or not okay so listen to my uh, dapa cap again here we have your current is flowing okay two diagram have seen the first one and the second one so we'll come to this diagram a bit later so here you have a, your um, yellow color stuff will be here the current is going into this one so the current will be coming here 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 and going like this so at the top if you see the current is going in this direction current so i am holding my thumb in the direction so i am curling my fingers so the structure is like this i just turn it down you cannot see the blue color because it is towards the board so i have my thumb i have my thumb pointing in the direction so other four curling fingers representing the so magnetic fields are going down so here we have seen like we have magnetic fields are going down because of the upper part okay so in order to understand because of the upper part and because of the lower part we also see the magnetic fields are going this is because of the down part okay upper part and down part <coughs> okay so here the car the magnetic field lines are coming like this because of this one we will place it our thumb it towards you and if i hold all my fingers accordingly hold my finger then it's going up so because of the lower part i'll get a magnetic field upside so this resultant of these two i told the upside this this db cos theta here and the db cos theta and the downside both will get cancelled it outside but the magnetic fields are added in this direction so the magnetic field final direction is like this now so this is clear now if you see will be here the current is coming top side is over this is the top side top side is over and the current is coming 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 and the bottom side the current is towards you so here if you place okay so at this stage because of the top side because of the top you know current is going like this so the magnetic field at that point is coming down but on my side on this side these fingers are rotating and coming and coming going up up so here it is this magnetic field is going downside because of the upper part and this is rotating and giving another magnetic field in this direction so this is basically the contribution from upper only this upper is rotating and coming like this but here because of this one the magnetic fields are going upside here because of the down part we will write down part upper part down part so this is upper part so the down part is giving a magnetic field like this and this is coming and going upside 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 and coming down so coming down so this is again down part now if you see if you look into the right side and if you look into the left side this db cos theta db cos theta cancel db cos theta db cos theta cancel db sin theta will added here here also db sin theta will added so in short i can say magnetic field is due to in this direction if the current is blowing like this one then the b net total magnetic field is in the negative x direction the total magnetic field in the x direction but if you consider it like this one <coughs> okay in 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 what direction negative x direction but if you consider the current is opposite so so far in the first diagram i told current is going into the board so i can say current going current into the board here on the top side i'm saying now in the bottom diagram current is not going here current is now coming towards you like this so here we have to see see current is coming towards you what rule we have to apply we have to use the right hand thumb rule so right hand thumb rule means current is going towards you towards you so right hand right hand means at this stage magnetic fields are going down and in this stage magnetic fields are going 
up so at this stage due to the right hand i'm applying so this side the magnetic fields are going down so here we have a down magnetic field and this will be rotating and give rise to an upper magnetic field on the top side but bottom side currents are going again into the board if currents are going into the board into the board here into the board my pen going into the board so what what we will do if it is going into the board into the board means we will hold it and we will we will hold it our fingers and their side is going down and here it is going see here it is going down but here it is coming and coming up okay so here magnetic fields are going down and here it is up okay so here it is going down means here it is rotating and coming it as up so if you see this blue lines this is the total magnetic field direction so i'm repeating so here the currents are going coming inside so here magnetic fields are down down so this down is due to which part will be here upper part upper part and this is upper part so this rotating and giving will be here upper part upper part and this is like because of the lower part lower parts means we know current is coming here and current is going into the board upper part current is coming towards you and our down part current is going towards the board so if you place it will be here at this point the magnetic fields are okay so at this point the the, the current is going into the board so down so this is because of down part so and here down part coming 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 so this is my fingers and rotating coming 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 and going upside so this is because down part upper part see opposite down part see opposite down part opposite upper part so here what is the direction of here i can say the magnetic fields are in what direction positive x direction by combining these two i'm going to draw a graph positive x direction and negative x direction in some cases magnetic field in this case is first negative x direction so negative x direction so if you are going away 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 from the coil we know total magnetic field will be equal to mu 0 i r square divided by root of r square plus x square whole power of 3 by 2 this expression right so in this expression sir x is the distance from the center if you are going away 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 from the center x is increasing if x is increasing total magnetic fields are reducing if x is increasing total magnetic fields are reducing means at the center maximum so at the center this is x is equal to zero maximum magnetic field so once you are going in the negative x direction so magnetic field is one one magnetic field is in the negative x direction and another magnetic field center is maximum then that is in the positive x direction so this is the graph in a circular current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field okay if it is the current is going in this direction this is one stage here currents are going into the board so once you have uh, uh, once you have learning this topic what you have to assume you have to stand as like me exactly like this you have to keep a bangles then you assume current is going into the board into the wall into the wall so thumb so it is down down so down you will get so the down magnetic field is due to the upper part this is what i have written upper part okay so upper part so upper part is coming down and on the other side these fingers are rotating rotating and giving a top so top so this top is again because of the upper part so it depends upon the direction of the matter direction of the current direction of the magnetic field will occupy two direction either it is in the positive x direction and or either it is in the negative x direction but only difference is that the direction of the magnetic fields are moving in opposite direction so you can mark if you want you can mark like this one positive x direction magnetic field because of this part so because of this part so this part means currents are in this direction and here because of this one currents are in this direction so these two are important the graphical represent this is not a part of actually the graph this is for just your understandability only this is the graph is enough hope this concept is clear this is we are find magnetic field due to a circular current carrying conductor along the axis of the conductor not at the center center last class we have seen but from the axis of the conductor we can able to calculate what is the magnetic field at the center of the conductor by putting x will be equal to zero 
hope this topic is understandable to you and you got some uh, some information some conceptual this is a little bit of a uh, difficult so i strongly suggest especially these videos again go back to the front and again one more time watch it if you're not 100 percentage clear about what i have told so you have to repeatedly watch one or two times so that will be clear because lot of right hand palm rule is coming to pictures will be here in order to find the direction of this one so uh, instead of uh, thinking something imaginary take a bangles or a dappa box anything and you face it and you think like this one then you understand then you apply this law and understand okay this is what is happening because the the only thing you will remember in the examination hall only if you are learning in a conceptual way okay hope the session is useful and you and it's understandable to you